Question 20. This is a great SAT question. If an ant runs randomly through an enclosed circular field of radius 2 feet with an inner circle radius 1 foot, what is the probability that the ant will be in the inner circle at any one point? So basically, let's draw a picture. I got this circle. It has a radius. That's the center of here is 1 foot. It then that's inside this circle whose radius we'll go from here to there is two feet. You want to know what's the probability it's going to be in here at any point instead of out here? Well, what how much area is on the inside? It'll be the area on the inside divided by how much area overall there is. <clears throat> well the inner area well, what's the formula for that? Pi r squared. The radius is just 1, so it's 1 squared, so it's pi out of. What's well, the total area of the whole big thing? Well, that has a radius of 2, so that's pi r squared. Pi times 2 squared, that's 4 pi. Notice the pi's will cancel, and you'll be left with 1 out of 4. This inner circle is only taking up 25% of the space out of the entire space that exists. So you have 25% of the space is here. The other 75% is out here. There's a 75% chance it's going to be out on the outside because there's three times as much area as what's on the inside there. So the answer here is there's a one out of four choice C that that ant will be on the inner circle at the most. If you ever had me for geometry, you do a lot of this with pizzas, with how much area you get for pizzas and how much more of a deal do you get hey if the uh, you know a 12 inch pizza versus a 10 inch or a 14 inch versus a 12 inch it actually the outside bit adds a whole lot more so I when little Cecil goes to order a pizza I always get the largest there is because it's the best bang for your buck but anyway problem 20 there's our answer one-fourth choice C